You see Cadillac Match Play Championship that you do not see every day in the game of golf. And golfers take great pride in the fact that this sport does not draw out a lot of controversy. But that was the case between Keegan Bradley, his caddy, and Miguel Angel Jimenez. Listen to this. Giving Keegan Bradley relief from a TIO. Miguel Angel Jimenez thought he knew better in the situation, interjected himself. The caddy told him to go away. Miguel tells the caddy to shut up, and as you can see, that is what ensued. The caddy refusing a handshake from Jimenez, and these two having words not only right there on the golf course, but also later, according to Todd Lewis, in the locker room. Here's what they had to say afterward. I'm not going to say anything more about it. It's it's fine. You know, the round's over. Did you guys, did you talk to him after the round? Did you apologize? Uh, we didn't do much talking after the round. So, yeah, we, we, you know, we don't, I'm, I have nothing but respect for him. Uh, he's a great player out here, but I, you know, I have to be able to stick up for myself when I feel like something's been wrong. Were you disappointed with the fact that a guy like him would speak to your caddy like he did? Yeah. The question is, is if he was upset with you, why would he go after Pepsi? You'd have to ask him that. I have no idea. What did he, can you share what he said to Pepsi, please? No, I mean, he, I, uh, he, he I just, it, it, it's very, it's very rare when you're getting a ruling with a rules official standing there to have uh, another person kind of interject and be very, very, uh, sort over the top, kind of accusatory. So that, that's how it was. I think it's, uh, it's uh, my intention is not to be helpful. That's it. And uh, that's the only thing. And I never get to get to get the list of what I'm trying to say. That's it. Simple. Um, nothing, nothing more about that. Is uh, it's about the top of that. So you were trying to be helpful, and you think he took it personally? Probably. In regards to the ruling, were you asked to, to participate, or did you feel like you wanted to? Participate? No, no. The, the, the only thing I, I the only thing I'm going to say about approaching that to the to the to think because the ball is don't, don't roll more than two clubs, and I'm trying to say the ball don't roll more than two clubs, and maybe it's a different situation. Nobody listened to me. That's it. That's the only thing. But anyway, I think the, this is over now, and uh, it's no more no any more point to keep, keep going these things. We received a lot of reaction on this show. Uh, we had Mark Russell uh, join Todd Lewis on side. He's the head of rules for the PGA Tour. And he did admit that Miguel Angel Jimenez probably overstepped his bounds but had full rights and privileges to go over there and keep an eye on the situation. So just once again, let's get a reaction from you to your general sense of how we will walk away from this. Well, just watching it play out, I think what Keegan said uh, was an uh, apt uh, description of it, that he sounded accusatory. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so inconsistent consistent with who Miguel Angel Jimenez is. He's a good time. He finds a good time. He buys all the drinks. He's a very nice guy. But in that particular uh, five seconds of video, um, he looked very accusatory. And then the words shut up came out of his mouth. And the minute that came out of his mouth, uh, I think Keegan Bradley had every right to go over and defend the honor of his caddy. He obviously has every right to be there uh, to question a ruling, uh, certainly in one-on-one. -on -one, um, a player has a duty to protect the field uh, throughout the course of a round. Um, and if you want to talk to the official, okay. Uh, but once the shut up, that's when it all kind of blew up. And, uh, you know, I've known Miguel a long, long time. Uh, I, I think you got to look at intent. And I don't think necessarily his, his intent was to cause any problem, to cause uh, any strife between them. But um, 
telling somebody's caddy to shut up is really stepping over the line at that point. And, and you know, players – uh, yeah, have, have players cheated in professional golf throughout the course of uh, the, the game? Yes, it's happened. But the 99.999% police themselves and, 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 and always have the right intent. And uh, so it just kind of blew up uh, with, with the words shut up. And, and unfortunately, we saw a very ugly incident today at the golf tournament. Why an 